I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take something else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen. Fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. What's goody, Shelltron here? You can call me Shells, and I'm back out again with a brand new video, and the madman did it. We thought it would have happened much earlier, but the man did it in the sixth round. Matt Rule got his guy out of Baylor. 6'1", 331 pounds. Bravey and Roy is a say it with me hog molly. This man is and but he going to fill up some gaps for us. This is more defensive tackle depth. He can play the nose tackle. This man can hold up on the interior of the line. Now, he is kind of like a project kind of guy. Obviously, he was picked in the sixth round. He's not a guy who's going to really shine in the tape. You're not going to really find too many crazy highlights of this man, although he did have some solid seasons on the back end of his career at Baylor. But what you really want to focus in on with this Bravey and Roy pick is that we are actually addressing what was the biggest problem with this defense. Not only did Dave, the Rev, and Marty Herney go and find guys who are going to be starters on the front four of this defense, they found some guys who are going to be backup kind of guys, rotational guys, guys who are going to spell for our bigger named star guys on the D-line. And that is very important because if you have someone like K1 Short or someone like, you know, Derek Brown who goes out, you know, these guys get tired. Maybe they can't play for a play or two. You need to have guys who you can depend on, guys you chose, guys you actually chose and who are priority picks for you in the draft, even if they are in the back end of the draft, who are backups to come in for you and make moves for you. And this is the kind of dude who can do that. He is still a little bit, I don't want to say raw, but he does have some form and some technique issues that he has in his tape sometimes. But that's what you expect out of a six round guy. 6'1", 331 pounds. I'm telling you right now, all I need for you to do is exist in a gap. Don't get pushed backwards. Just exist in a gap. And the players around you will do things. Make these dudes on the offensive line respect you. You don't have to pancake them, right? You don't have to push these dudes over. You don't have to make the center or the guard sack their own quarterback. I just need you to exist in a gap. The running back can't run through you if you're right there. I promise you, you have a lower center of gravity than even these 5'8", five, 5'9", five, running backs. I promise you that, brother. So, Bravey and Roy... I like this pick. I don't know what I would actually grade it right now. I'll look at it some more. But this is a solid pick in the sixth round. I'm I'm not going to, you know, split hairs over, well, this guy's available and this guy's available. We need help on the defensive front. So recognizing that the backup guys also play an important role in the flow of a game and getting guys in the sixth round, fifth round, you know, even in the seventh round, these are guys who could potentially have an impact on the game. We've seen lesser known guys, guys who bounce around, be very important to our game. We saw Vernon Butler have three straight bad years and then turn up just last year. We saw Kyle Love out of nowhere, you know, after he, got, after he left the Patriots and whatnot, come and have two very solid years for us. I think Bravey and Roy, when he gets on the field, will have some good tape for us. He will come in and have some good plays for us, some good reps. I like this pick. Exist in the gap. But what are your thoughts on Bravey and Roy, six-round pick? Would you have gone somewhere else? Fad Moss Truthers, how y'all feeling right now? Right now, we're still in the seventh round. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, he has not been picked up. But I think we're pretty safe with Ian Thomas right now. I think he's a really good tight end for us. But this isn't about that right now. Bravey and Roy on the team. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And you already know what to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win. 